Hi everyone and welcome to another episode of the Match Betting Chronicles. So today I just want to talk to you about trading a market that you may not have thought of and that is the Premier League relegation market. And um, I'm by no means an expert. This is the first year that I've decided to trade this market. And um, we're three games into the Premier League season at the moment. And I placed a few bets on this market before the league started, basically. And um, to the right, you can see the bets that I placed. So I laid, I laid leads with a £200 stake. I've laid Nottingham Forest with a 300 stake. And when I say I laid them, I mean I, I'm winning if they don't get relegated. But for Everton, I've bet on them with a £200 stake to get relegated. Okay. Um, now, I'll just explain why I've done this. Um, and it's because um, for, for different teams for different reasons, basically. Um, for Nottingham Forest, I just thought, you know, they seem quite ambitious. You know, they're they're buying players like Jesse Lingard, and it, and they finished last season so well. They looked by far the the strongest team um, going into the into the playoffs, and um, yeah, they just look like they really want to stay up. So, I um I've laid Nottingham Forest basically, um, and at the moment that bet. It's not going badly, but it could have gone better if they they were beating Everton yesterday, and if they held that, you know, if they did win that, it would be better. At the moment, if I trade out, um, it's only nine pound thirty profit on Nottingham Forest. Um, for Everton, well, I just I just thought to myself they were quite high odds not to get relegated at four point five. And I just thought that's that's value because I can see them having a very poor season. They haven't really improved um, their squad. And um, Frank Lampard, I'm just not sure. I mean, I love the guy, but I'm just not sure if management is his thing at the moment. I think he still has a lot to learn. Hopefully he makes it. Um, but, you know, they're talking about him being the first manager to get the sack even before the season started, some people. Um, so I did think, you know, they didn't have an easy start either. So, um, yeah, that's why I did that. And at the moment, that's going very well. If I trade that out now, it'll be £57 profit. Um, if we look at their league table, um, yeah, they've only got one point from three games. And although they're not in the relegation zone yet, these team, all these teams in the relegation zone are expected to to get out later whereas sort of Everton and Wolves Bournemouth they'll be expected to probably to be around there basically um going back to this Southampton is one that I thought about but I wasn't sure Fulham they seem to uh they seem to go down but come up and go down sort of every year but again the the odds just weren't enough value for me, so I, I didn't do it. Um, and Leeds, you know, a lot of websites were tipping them to have a hard season and go down. But for me, you know, they've had a tough season last time. And I just thought they might have learned a few lessons. And I thought they have improved their squad a bit. So I thought Leeds might make a good start, you know, and um, and they have done. I think uh, they're near, yeah, they're third in the league after three games. One drawn, one. That's pr that's really good. Um, so, yeah, if I trade them out now, that's £78.54 profit. And frankly, I'm tempted to trade all of these out now um, because, you know, it's only three games and Leeds could easily go on a bad run. Um, Nottingham Forest at the moment, you know, if they if they lose a couple of games, this will be in a negative. And again, if Everton turn it around, you know, which they could, if Frank Lampard gets the sacked and they bring in a new manager, you know how that goes. 
sometimes they improve things instantly. Um, so yeah, that's uh, that's why I did that. And you might be thinking, why didn't I um, why didn't I back Bournemouth to go down? And it's because on here they were the favourites to go down. The odds were really low anyway. And if they won one or two games, then I'd be in the negative, you know, if they had a good start. So I didn't see Bournemouth as um, as value really. So yeah, basically that's why. And I just what I've learned from this is that it is good to do a few teams because you know if you lose on one, you might be winning on on another one. And if you've got enough football knowledge, um, you can just use that and um, try and look for the value prices and. Um, you know, there's a lot of websites that just go for the obvious, but you've watched enough football and you know which um, which teams are likely to, you know, have a bad start, etc. So, yeah, I think it's um, it might be a bit risky to leave this. I I don't. I think Leeds will be okay. Um, I could I could leave them for the whole season, you know, but the maximum I can win is two hundred. I'm already being offered £78. So, yeah, it, it probably would be sensible to take that just, just in case, you know. Anyway, guys, um, that's something I'm going to do more next year, definitely. This has um, this been a really fun market to research and trade. And, um, yeah, I recommend you, you guys to do the same if you've got some football knowledge. Um, but just be careful not to stay in for for too many games. You know, it can easily turn on you. And if I was in a loss right now as well, you've got to know when when to cut your losses, obviously. Um, so, yeah, I took these bets with the intention of just seeing how the first few games go. Anyway, guys, uh, thanks for listening, and I hope this video has been useful. Take care.